What's up everybody? We are here on the Bald Face Circle Trail. 9.8 miles, Bald Face Mountain. Just getting started. Four years in the making. We've been trying to get this loop done. It is the hottest day of the year so far. We're gonna power through and get, <laughs> and get this done because we've been waiting so long to try and do this. I'd say it's probably reasonably 90 degrees with about 60% humidity. Our goal here is to get to a shelter that's at about two and a half miles and then camp out there unless there's people there then we might proceed elsewhere find another place to camp for the night and then uh, make our way down tomorrow morning. This is what we're dealing with here. We're gonna be about two miles in, maybe a little more. And we've had this sustained incline. We should be getting close to the shelter. Whew. Oy. <laughs> How many times did we hike this as kids? I don't know, three maybe? Yeah, that sounds about right. My legs are about like jello right now. Holy shit. I'm not stopping. Like <laughs> get to the top of this. Yeah. Holy crap. Oh, my quads are like, you know, they don't even hurt. They're just failing. I'm dripping sweat all over the camera. Whew. Nice little rock scramble here. Whoopsie. And there is the shelter. We're here at the Bald Face Shelter. This is it. We take a little snack break here. So this place, we used to hike this when we were like 12 years old, 11, 12, 13, somewhere around there. And uh, we used to fit like, what, like 15 kids in here? Yeah. Yeah, 15 kids in this shelter and two adults. Two or three adults. It's crazy bringing back some some old memories. Look at this here behind me. Like I was just saying, we used to hike this before and sleep in that shelter. And uh, we were trying to remember on our way up here. It felt like we slept on the summit one time, but it was actually here. There's this rock face right down from the. Uh, from the shelter. Look at this view. That's facing east. So imagine that's gonna be an awesome sun sunrise. Joel just found some uh, blueberries. So I'm gonna eat some blueberries as well. Yeah, up here they don't, they don't grow big and fat like the ones when you go blueberry picking. And plus, I bet you people eat them oh, yeah, no, often enough tough. that they don't get enough time to grow too big. So they probably just learned to ripen yeah. you know, early. Yeah. We're going to head up to the south summit, which you can probably tell we're in for a, uh, a steep climb. It said it was steep yeah. from the shelter. To the summit. We're like a hundred yards into it from the shelter. Mama Lucian. And this is what we're about to go up. Good goobly goo. Whoa. There's a cave that I'm not about to go in. Wow. You just go way in there? Yeah. Oh, 
looks like it winds up as it goes in. Nice. Oh, gravy. All right, this. This is. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, my pack's falling over my head. Yeah, I think that alone is going to. No. Oh shit! Look at that view, man. All you gotta do is turn around sometimes. Oh, oh this is a big one, man. Look at this. This view. There's some lakes over there. This is why I do this. As much of a grind as it is, as much as it hurts sometimes, there's no other way you get in this view. Just to give you some perspective here. This is where we just climbed up. This is where we're going to continue to go up. If you fall here, you are pretty much f***ed. Gotta be pretty careful where you're stepping coming up here. It's right up there, summit. South Bald Face. Oh. This part of the climb has been tough, to say the least. But when you get a view like this, I ain't complaining about shit. There we go. But, okay. All right. We made it. Nice. I have some dinner. Got this MRE. It's a chicken fajita. Comes with tortilla and some chicken legs. <laughs> All right, that's the <clears throat> chicken fajita filling. It's not horrible. I mean, I'll eat it. I'm by bypassing the tortillas because tortilla wasn't really that good, and it's uh, awfully messy. Sufficient nourishment. And uh, here's the view. Not horrible. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a little bit of a sunset. It's way over there, but kind of cool. So it's pretty dark, but I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but we can see campfires. Oh, oh look it, it. There it is. Someone's lighting off fireworks. I don't know if you can see that off in the distance. There we go. That is freaking cool. Hope the camera is picking this up. And picking up how silent it is around here. Yeah. See all kinds of campfires down there. Every now and then we can see a car driving off in the distance. The only sound besides us talking is when the wind blows. That's how silent it is up here. Pretty freaking awesome. Okay, good morning. It's the next day. Made it through the night. Didn't really sleep all that much. The bugs, mosquitoes up here are just insane. Watching the sunrise, the moon's still out. We'll be on our way to uh, Summit North Baldface. So, we were kind of wrong with where we were at yesterday. That down there 
is what we thought was the south summit. That's where we placed the rocks. However, where we're standing now is actually the south summit. So, we knew that, that there was a false summit. We just, I don't know, we thought we were at the right one. But now, we're at the right south summit. And somewhere over there is the north summit. Maybe up there. Here we go. Our first steep section we're on our way up to North Bald Face. I don't know if you can hear in the video, but the bugs are unbelievable. Mosquitoes, black flies, yeah, everything. It's just bugs everywhere. getting there. That slope cliff looking thing in the distance is what we came up yesterday and then up to there which we thought was the summit which turned out to be the fall summit and then made our way up there which is the actual south summit and down and down down, down, and then back up what we've just been climbing. And we're going somewhere up there. North Summit, since we uh, screwed up on the South Summit, we'll have to go ahead and put a rock on the real North Summit. North Summit. Now, look at this view. 360 degrees all the way around. So for all of you that only want to climb 4,000 mountains in New Hampshire, in the White Mountains, how about you suck it because this is like 3,600 feet. This is one of the best views I've seen. And now, we start our descent. Ah, it's nice. My legs are a bit wobbly. Back into the land of the flies. Sons of bitches. That's pretty nifty. And back out on the ridge. Oh. We're into our descent here. I got rubber legs. Coming up was much hardier, hardier? Coming up was much harder for me cardio-wise. Went down. It's doing a number of my quads and my knees. I'm quite wobbly right now. hot. My legs are somehow still holding me up. Barely. Got a, probably a couple miles left. Still worth it for the experience and the views at the top. Well, we flattened out a little bit, but uh, my legs still don't really want to work. My knees and my quads. They're screaming right now. Ah! We got our first real water crossing here. And I'm pretty sure this means 
we are almost done. We're all done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're tired. We got some clean clothes on. We're gonna go look for some food, some real food, something besides MREs, bananas, and peanut Very butter nice. sandwiches. <laughs> Thank you for watching. This was fun, like I said at the beginning. This is four years in the making. And we've been trying to do this, trying to coordinate it. Finally worked out. We got it done. All right, see you next time. Bye bye. Onward, ho. Ding! <laughs>